Now, the next thing we want to do is style this, right? Because we don't want this caption, you know, floating out like this on the white background. We want to create a nice see-through black uh, div here, and we'll write the caption on top of that. So let's style the caption. Since the caption has a class already, we can just go ahead and do that. Um, we must do this under the index section. And um, let me see the right order. So right after opening div ID content, so after the navigation. right here okay so what we want to uh, type is the following div dot caption and let's make the the text white let's make a background color that's black Um, let's give it some opacity. And a width of 100% so that it inherits the width of the parent which is a, a thousand pixels wide okay let's save this and refresh the page this is what we get we didn't give it any height or anything we just um, made it a see-through kind of black and um, the text is in white so far so good we still have to position it on top of the image um, and give it some padding, you know, just so that it, there's space around the words. Um, but we have a small issue. The issue is that there's a tiny space right on top of that caption area. There's a tiny white space or transparent space uh, between the image and the caption. That's because the image element, which is this element, uh, by default has this um, space. It leaves a small, tiny space next to it, to the right side, and below it. So um, if we just display the images block, that problem will be resolved because the image will not behave as an inline element anymore. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, div dot caption. We can say right here div.slide space image which means the image which is nested inside of the div whose class is slide display block let's see if that's resolved okay that's wonderful that space is gone now all we need to do is position this caption right on top of the image and give it some padding so to position the caption Let's go ahead and give it a position absolute. Of bottom zero, left zero, and padding twenty pixels, zero twenty pixels and 40 pixels which means 20 pixels from the top 0 from the right 20 from the bottom and 40 from the left let's save this and see how it looks okay so that's the 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 caption that we have it's actually quite nice uh, a black caption area that is see-through and we can see um, you know captions in white which you can keep or change your liking but I think I like white on black the next thing we want to do is build the pager so if we scroll down on the home page we can go to super basic demo no intermediate demos part 2 
and scroll down and you will find an example of a pager right this is a pager a pager can be made up of numbers uh, bullets little thumbnails the idea is that you click on one of those items and then um, the cycle is applied okay so um, if we look at the code here at the bottom we already have this we, we already have the effect and instead of turn down our effect is scroll horse because that's what we chose um, there's also this thing called pager pager nav so what this means is that there's an element whose ID is nav and the pager is being applied um, on that element so all we need to do is just add a comma and then this new property I'm going to copy it and go to my index and you see this um, in gray choose your transition type this is just a comment it doesn't do anything it's basically telling us that if you don't want scroll horse you can put fade if you don't want fade you can put time out uh, turn down I mean turn down um, so let's remove this um, this uh, comment in gray add a comma right after scroll horse enter and then paste the new option or the new property which is pager nav okay save this and basically the idea is the following since a pager is made up of a list of either numbers or thumbnails or bullets then I would logically choose to use the ul element as the pager container and give the ul the id nav so that's what I'm going to do and I want the pager located on my black transparent um, caption area so within the div slideshow and that's why I will place it as one of the children of this div so right here ul open the ul and close the ul and make sure to give the ul an id nav why id because they're the pound sign right so id nav and save okay and let's refresh the page here's the pager you see it one two three four five six and since it is one of the children of this cast slideshow right it's one of the children of div class slideshow it cycles with the other children so we want to do something to prevent it from cycling because we want the pager to stay while we want the captions and the images to cycle and in fact we want to place the pager right here okay so what shall we do to keep the pager from cycling what shall we do to just make it stay on the page let's go ahead and read some more documentation if we go under again if we go back home under um, options reference there's you know there's obviously plenty to read here but um, again it's rewarding once uh, it works so what I want to look for is um, this uh, option that's called slide express let me find it slide express must be right here so this says expression for selecting slides if something other than all the children is required so this will limit the slideshow to the children of div.slideshow that have div.slide hence it will exclude the ul so I'm going to go ahead and use this option in order uh, to keep the pager from cycling with the other children of div class slideshow. Okay, so another comma right here. And let's type it properly, slide express. It's ex pr dot slide so this will basically limit the slideshow to the children of the div whose class is slideshow 
that have the div class slide, right? And hence will exclude the UL. That's what we want. Okay, let's save this and refresh. Okay, wonderful. Um, the pager is not cycling anymore, but where is the pager? That's a problem. Where did the pager disappear? In fact, it went behind the images. So now to bring it back forward, we can apply a Z index. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, the UL is the absolute first element inside of, um, no, well, it's inside the div class slideshow, but it's before the div class slide. So I'm just looking at the order of things in order to write it uh, at the right place. So right before div class slide. Okay. So here we want to say ul found nav and then we want to give it a z index of 50. So any just a positive value. We want to position it absolutely at the bottom right corner. Let's say 13 pixels. and 40 pixels right. So this is the pager located at the bottom right corner with a Z index. But the thing is we want bullets. We don't want numbers. We can use the pager anchor builder option whose job is to build anchor links. Let's read what the pager anchor builder option does. If we go to, again, this is the options reference page through the Cycle Plugin uh, website. And um, this is the Pager Anchor Builder option. It's a callback function for building anchor links. So its job is to build anchor links. Now we already do have number anchor links, but with the Pager Anchor Builder option, we can override the numbers with bullets because that's what we want. We want to override these numbers with nice bullets and we will use the pager anchor builder option to do that. So let's go to index.html and right after slide express uh, dot slide, again add a comma to add a new option. And here we want to type pager anchor builder colon function open close parentheses. I comma E, open close curly braces, and add a comma after the curly brace, return LI and close the LI. The LI is nesting the A element that opens and closes. So remember the LI is the child of the UL right here and the A is the child of the LI. That's why these um, anchor builders, the, the pager anchor builders are links. And so A href Okay, let's save this and see what happens.